folks, we're talking Super Bowl here on Spurs Up. I'm Matt Bumbaka alongside Patriot fan Patrick DeMar, and we are getting down to the big game. It is Super Bowl 53? 52? 52. 52. 52. And uh, I, simple question, and I already know the answer to it. Patrick DeMar, who you got? See, this is going to be a close game. Uh, I feel like... The Patriots have just had so many games recently in the last like two to three years where it's gone our way in the last few seconds when there's no way that it should have. I feel like eventually our luck's going to run out, but just to make myself feel a little and bit better. And it is this time. They will. The luck is running out. I don't think, just the to make myself feel a little bit better, I'm taking the Pats by four. By four. By four. The line is set at four and a half right now. It opened up at five. Interesting to see where that will change and move uh, as the week goes on, but... As of right now, I gotta say, I'm definitely gonna take the Patriots. It's Tom Brady, it's Bill Belichick, it's those guys, but it's gonna be a great game. I'm looking at the Eagles, and people don't expect a lot out of Nick Foles, but Nick Foles played great in that NFC Championship game. He has, ha he has had success in the NFL before, back in 2013 with the Eagles as well, and I think that that Eagles defense is really slept on. They're gonna get after Tom Brady. Fletcher Cox and those boys are coming after Tom Brady in that Patriots offense. Oh, yeah, they've got a really, really talented defense. I think when you match up the defenses, I think the Eagles win in every area except the secondary. I think the Patriots secondary is a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got some really good players back there. Obviously, uh, Malcolm Butler, Stephon Gilmore, Deron Harmon, Patrick Chung, uh, Devin McCourty, all really great players. Uh, I think the Eagles have... They both have a lot of offensive versatility. They do. They uh, mix things up. Yeah. And they keep they get creative with it. They do. They, they almost, to a, to a certain extent, remind me of how many different things the Patriots offense can do. I mean, they have a Stop dynamic. Stop it. Stop it. No, they do, really. They that. have a that's, dynamic that's tight end. That's garbage. They have a oh dynamic tight God. end. They have uh, an Alshon Jeffrey. They have an uh, elite wide receiver, right? They have a Nelson Aguilar who's no. got the speed. The Patriots offense is a middle. system. It's a system, and it's systematically... Uh, probably impeccable when you think about it, how many interchangeable names have gone in and out. Right. The only constant is Tom Brady. But um, I, when you look at that Eagles offense, it's creative. It's, it, there's options. There's you know RPOs all over the place. And they have talent unlike the – I mean, I think when you look at Gronk, that's the best tight end to ever play the, the game. Right. But uh, on, you know, on the outside and even the, the Eagles have those three running backs, Jay Ajayi, LeGarrette Blunt and Corey Clement. Deion Lewis was a top three graded running he's back. A great, in he's a great running back, okay? Was, I think he was number two in the league to Todd Gurley, I believe. Wow. By, graded by PFF. He's great. He's really, really great. He is. And then we've got James White catching passes out of the backfield. Okay. Mike Gillisley can carry the ball in between the tackles. Is Gillisley going to even suit up? I think he will. I think he will. I don't think you'll see him much, but I think he will. The thing with the Patriots is. He barely plays. He barely even suits up yeah. for them. Yeah, all right. So does Rex Burkhead, but yeah. they have well, each one of those Burkhead guys plays, for a certain he reason. Plays. Yeah, they and have each one of those guys for a certain reason. Mm -hmm. If you see Kenny Britt out on the field, out at wide receiver, he's there for a certain reason. Yeah. If you see Rex Burkhead out there on a specific play, you can almost guarantee that the ball's going to him. And that just comes down to the Patriots' preparation. They, yeah. They're three steps ahead of everybody else. They and are just, all the time, they're looking for matchups. Their yeah. offense is so matchup oriented. Yeah. They're looking for which guys on their side of the ball have a, the best matchup against guys on the other side of the ball. And they're forcing that matchup to happen. I don't know what it is yet. I'm try I've been trying all week to figure out what that matchup's gonna be. Uh, it hurts that Gronk isn't with us right now. I hope he's cleared to play. He'll but be playing and become. I think come he will be game. too. I yeah. think he will be too. And I think when he does, the line will move up a little bit. Yeah. Um. I, you know, I, it's really hard for me to bet against Brady. I've been watching him play so long. It's just yeah. I feel like anybody who has has learned their lesson by now. And if they haven't, exactly. they're just hard headed. I guarantee you this, and I'm, I'm I'm seriously. You could call it a hot take or not. Go for it. The Philadelphia Eagles will be up at halftime. That's a I, fact. Yeah, I think so. When I the Patriots so. are always down at halftime, especially in the Super Bowl. I think so. I mean, We've been really I think that's a given. The Patriots have been really slow in the first quarter this yeah, year. Yeah, just the really whole, slow. The entire year, they start off slow, and I, the, it's the New England Patriots that are probably going to come back, and yeah. I, I'm going to be disgusted. But I, honestly, it's a lose-lose for me. As a Giant fan, I, I don't want to see either team win. <laughs> it's going to be a rough game. The thing, what I've learned is that no coach in the National Football League is better at adjusting than Bill Belichick. Than Bill. And the thing, the problems that they've it's had in the last few years. I wouldn't even say it's adjusting. It's preparation. He knows. He just, you know what I mean? He's already, he's already three steps ahead of you. Yeah, you, for sure. But, I mean, you see um, 
Jaguars game, it's just everything changed at halftime. It almost looked like it was scripted, it, it, as, as every Patriots game is. And that's why I'm telling you, the Eagles will be up. And they'll they'll probably it'll, it'll look bad just like twenty eight to three right and then the and then I don't the know pats. if it can look that bad I think I, it's I think not. it's gonna be and a close game if it gets game. that bad I t I promise you that they're not coming back I think it will stay within seven points all game I I don't I, I think it's I don't gonna stay within seven points all, all game mm -hmm. I, I think it's gonna Eagles start out ten maybe even fourteen at I one think point. they'll be up a touchdown going into the half Well, overall we both got the Patriots winning it Who's who's your Who's your underappreciated guy to look out for in this game? Who do you think in you, this game? Yeah, in this specific game, oh. who that people aren't talking about about a lot? Do you think is going to have a great game? I, I'm going to say this, and I think he's one of the most underrated linebackers in all of football. Michael Kendricks of the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, he is an incredible middle linebacker. He covers from end to end, side to side of the field. You know, sideline to sideline. The guy makes plays and. If he and, and it comes down to you know when you're facing Tom Brady in that offense, your middle linebacker, your communicator on that defense needs to play on the same level as Tom Brady's playing on the other side of the ball. So he's the X factor. He's going to be the leader of that defense come come the big game. And if that defense holds up, the Eagles might just end up winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be really tough. But yeah, he's he's going to play a huge role in it. That and defensive line. And then, too. and then think about he he also is going to have to probably be tasked with matching up with Gronk on most plays or, as yeah, well. Or one of our running backs, something like exactly. that. Exactly. So he's he's going to have his hands full all game. It's going to be an interesting one. So I, that's our take here on Spurs Up. I'm Matt Mbaka alongside the great Patrick DeMar. We'll see you guys soon.